If you have a blackout, you have a power outage, something like this, please reach out to your disabled neighbors and see if they are okay. So Brother Esau's moral of the story of the day, reach out to people in your community, in your neighborhoods, and you guys have heard me say this with every other video I've made for the last three years. Please do it. You might save someone from the abyss with that one small act of kindness. Put the brakes on. Yeah, so I just lost power out of nowhere. I was just hopping on Facebook to say hi to you guys and shit this just came out of nowhere I lost my internet and now my power is totally out check this shit out hey hey Put the brakes on the wheelchair. I was talking to my friend Cody up in New York and he was saying they just had a major thunderstorm and there's trees down and everything, man. Nuts! So I guess I'll be chilling in here. There's no electricity. I'm cool. I'm fed. I got books. And I have enough camping survival gear to survive Ragnarok. Happy Thor's Day. Awesome. Get my damn electricity back on. I just heard a ton of sirens out there too. The lights in the distance look like they're still working. So that was fun. No internet, no electricity, no TV. I'll be chilling. You guys be safe. If you guys are going through the storms, my friend Kathy G said you had a big storm up in Canada. Cody said they had a big storm up there. This just came on in like five minutes. Awesome. Gotta love a good storm. Yep, someone pissed off Thor. So now we sit and we wait. Bunch of trees down. I love a good storm. I just wish my electric was on. I was watching The Walking Dead. Yep, there's debris and stuff everywhere. So, when there's people here, like my daughter is here, she's not here very often. I'll walk around. A little bit but when I'm by myself I don't walk across the room I've fallen down at least six times the last time I fell down hard was probably two three weeks ago I pulled my back out just trying to go from chair to chair so my daughter is gone now so I won't be walking around too much I'll be in my chair more often traffic's come to a standstill 
That's Route 30, the old Lincoln Highway that goes all the way across the country. It even goes through Dan Quayle's town. And I went through Dan Quayle's town and I asked everyone I met if they've ever smoked weed with Dan Quayle. Seems like it's passing over. Sounds like it. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching my videos. Have fun, guys. That should have cooled it off. It was like 100 degrees outside of sa sauna today. Insane. And the freaking membrane. Rock and roll. Have fun. So that was quick. Probably 20 minutes. Power's still out. Trees are down. Thanks for hanging out. I don't want a holiday in the sun. So I'm sitting by the dock of the bay, watching the tide roll away. Several hours later, it's almost nine o'clock. No electricity yet. And it's almost dinner time. That's right, ramen noodles, baby. Everybody's favorite book, Treasure Island. Always keep an audio book on there. Had some ramen, cooked it on my camp stove, and it's still dark in Gettysburg. Sleep well, y'all. Enjoy the humidity. Sour milk in the morning. So here we are the next morning, and we still don't have power. Fortunately, I have coffee. The lights are still out. And the police have been sitting over there directing traffic all night. So I slept in a puddle of sweat. Multiple sclerosis is a heat sensitive illness. If it's 80 degrees for you, it's 100 for us. Today, it's supposed to be 100 degrees, no AC. Needless to say, there's a bunch of my food I'm gonna have to throw out that I cannot afford to replace it. Frankly, I'm surprised that the power company wasn't already prepared for this because there's been major storms from Canada down to New York with power outages, trees down, everything. This was more than 24 hours ago. And they saw this coming on the weather maps. I'm surprised that they weren't prepared. So yeah, that was a pretty miserable night's sleep, laying in my own sweat all night. 
so we'll hope the power is on soon. Door must have generators because I can see their powers on. They have their own self-sufficient generators, their own in-house generators. smells this fresh coffee. And there's the guys getting busy and the cleanup begins. Thanks Larry and Larry. And this is Daryl. And this is not the Bob Newhart show. Good morning, guys, and thanks for your work. These guys keep this place afloat. These guys keep this place from falling apart, and they are my friends, and they are a couple of good guys. Happy Father's Day, both of you. So that charger... That's what I took with me on the Appalachian Trail. That charger was about 10 bucks. It'll keep my stuff charged up for a week. Worthy investment, my friends. Boy, that breeze sure feels nice. It's not gonna last though, it's gonna be 100. I hope to get the AC on, or the electric on soon. It's still real early. If I'm medicated, my narcolepsy is under control and I sleep like a normal person. Stay tuned, you guys. Day two of the Great Gettysburg Blackout continues. whoop de doo hope I can get something to eat today. Gettysburg blackout update and so it's one o'clock I think it's Tuesday or cog fog I don't know what day it is <coughs> but I was looking out the window and I saw my neighbor and I yelled out to him um, I could stop up for a minute because I'm going to lose all of my food in my fridge I just spent an extra hundred dollars that I don't usually spend on extra food for my daughter's visit. All of that food is, I'm probably, I'm going to lose some of it. My frozen solid meat, I have a pork roast and I have some chicken legs, they were thawed out hours ago in my freezer. So even the stuff in my freezers, it's already thawed and melted, the ice cubes are all melted. So I was looking at honest, basically losing all of my food. I cannot afford to replace that food at all. Um, last month I spent $50 on food deliveries for the first time. That was a bad idea and that's an, a future impossibility. I cannot afford to spend $50 on grocery deliveries. That's essentially medicine money and I can't afford that kind of thing. So that food delivery will not be happening again. 50 bucks could feed me for a month if I had to, and it did in 2018. I was living on 40 bucks a month in food, just over a dollar a day, and grilled cheeses and peanut butter and jellies and ramen noodles is all I could afford to feed myself for an entire year. Uh, needless to say, that was a nightmare. Um, multiple sclerosis coming on strong for the first time. I didn't know it was happening to me or anything. 
and um, dealing with other another narcolepsy I didn't know I had, cog fog I didn't know I had at all. Um, but I was just in danger of losing all my groceries that was supposed to get me through the rest of the month. Um, so I yelled out to my neighbor who I'm newly acquainted with, and he's a nice young man from Cape Cod, and he was just headed out to grab a sub. Nobody has electric here. I think I, I, we have 8,000 people in Adams County that um, are without power. I think I saw two million people in Pennsylvania are without power. They're estimating that it's supposed to be back on by nine o'clock at night. By nine o'clock at night, tonight my food's all gone. I don't have a way to go to the store. I, don't ha I do not have the money for gr grocery delivery at all. Um, even if I did, I can't turn my computer on. My phone doesn't work with the internet. So a couple of my friends help me out with phones that I can't even get across town to get them turned on and I don't have the extra funds to have them turned on any more than I have transportation to get anywhere. Um, it's where I hear people say, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just do this and we'll just do that. Well, just doesn't have a magic carpet that will take me wherever I want to go at the drop of a dime like most people who can just go out and jump in their car and don't have to pinch pennies every day. So, boxes on heads and all that, take them off. So my very nice neighbor, um, I yelled out to him and I asked him if he could pick me up a bag of ice. So I probably won't lose my food, as much of my food as I thought I would. So, but like my milk and stuff is gonna be my milk and stuff's going to be gone. Um, I don't know. I'll have to check the food. And I'm trying to get my wheelchair through here. So, <laughs> that's all the downside. The upside is, is that I had a kind neighbor that picked up a bag of ice for me. So that was a real big deal. So that's what's going on with this update, and I hope they get the power turned on soon. Another upside is today was supposed to be a 100 degree horrible heat day, and it's not. It's like 60 out. It's beautiful out here. The temperature, my thermometer's not accurate. It can't be. It says it's 70, 75, but it's like so super nice outside. I'd love to get outside in a day like today. Today's like a, a, an autumn morning in October. It's like super nice out. But uh, I don't know, I hope they get this fixed soon. So nine o'clock tonight, it will be dark. It'll be dark here at 8.30. Um, I still have my camp lantern and my, um, my um, MSR stove. And, um, I have tobacco and I have coffee and since I have coffee you guys are all saved one more day from death destruction and greed because yours truly has coffee and I hope you guys have coffee too and you guys wherever you are in your neighborhoods in your communities far and wide if you have a blackout you have a power outage something like this please reach out to your disabled neighbors and see if they are okay, because no one did at all. No one reached out, no one knocked, no one called, no one came, and that's, I'm used to it. So I'm begging you, like I do in most of my videos, reach out to disabled people, okay? Reach out to disabled people in your communities and ask them if they're okay and if there's anything they need, like a bag of ice. Because I lost that food, I can't get to the store. I can't take this wheelchair up a busy highway to go get on the bus to go get myself groceries and how am I going to carry them back? Get it? I have one friend that I can reach out to to give me a ride to the store and that's the busiest person I know. That guy's going like a machine seven days a week and he still makes time. So please reach out to your neighbors and people in your community who are disabled in a situation like this. 
you got a blackout, no electricity for two days, reach out to those people so they're not suffering a financial loss and going without food. Their medical machines might be turned off. Knock on their windows, knock on their doors, give them a call, see if they're okay, see if there's anything they need. My neighbor Rob, one dollar bag of ice, is going to save me a hundred bucks. I'll have food for the rest of the month. I'm going to lose a lot, but that's the way it goes, right? So, Brother Esau's moral of the story of the day, reach out to people in your community, in your neighborhoods, and you guys have heard me say this with every other video I've made for the last three years. Please do it. You might save someone from the abyss with that one small act of kindness. What's the biggest killers of human beings in the world today? Apathy. Day two of the Great Gettysburg Blackout. And so we're still without power. But rumor is, is that we should have our power back on by 9 o'clock, which is about 45 minutes from now. It's just after 8, the sun's going down here in the Gettysburg battlefield. And so I'm looking forward to having the power back on. So let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that the, the power comes back on. Let's hope the power comes back on. Um, the upside is, is that with narcolepsy, I probably fell asleep four times today, so I kind of slept through my day, really, and, um, so hopefully I'll be able to watch some TV tonight and the birds are hanging out, and it turned out to be a really super nice day, it's like 70 degrees out here, and it was supposed to be 100, if it was 100 today in the sun, in here with no AC, with multiple sclerosis, all my MS friends out there everywhere, Jolene, Kathy, all you guys know that that heat is a nightmare if you have MS. Um, so, I'm confident that the, um, the power will be back on soon. Um, my friends, the maintenance guys, Larry and son, told me that there was some equipment damaged apparently right across the, right across Lincoln Highway over on the Harmon Farm, somewhere over in the Harmon Farm area there was equipment damage, that's what I heard. And so they've been working on that for probably 24 hours. So for all you guys out there who stayed awake for the past two days trying to get our power fixed, thank you very much. And um, again, Big shout out and thanks to my daughter, who is my hero. My daughter was here for Father's Day and she cleaned this place from top to bottom. Did my laundry and dishes and made breakfast, lunch and dinner. And we just had the best weekend ever. My daughter really stepped up. And we had an awesome Father's Day. And um, if you guys ever want to come on and hang out with me live, um, you can catch me on Facebook or YouTube. Um, and Twitch TV on my MS Warlord channel on Twitch TV. And I'll be migrating over to Microsoft as well. Um, I found that Microsoft is a much more family friendly and much more moderated um, live streaming format, um, which I found Twitch is not, unfortunately. Um, in any event, guys, stay tuned for some um, live video on Battlefield. A lot of you guys really like the ghost stories that I've posted, like 11,000 views on my ghost stories, and I have a lot more to share. Um, for those of you who haven't been tuning in, I've been in a wheelchair now for six and a half months with multiple sclerosis. I can walk a little bit, but my legs, my legs feel like they're zombies eating them, essentially. Um, so I walk when I can, and I walk with my 
hiking steps. Um, so stay tuned for some some more videos out in the battlefield, and I have a lot of ghost stories to share, a lot of that I've picked up over the years. And um, thanks for commenting, thanks for the views. All 11,000 of you guys who liked my my lights video here on the run. I have no idea what it was, but I'm obviously not getting down to see what it is. Um, and then my Willoughby, and my uh, Iron Brigade video where I saw a shadow one day on my way home from the library. Um, 8,000 of you guys watched that. Thanks very much. I had no idea that you guys were so interested in the ghost stories, so I'll share some more. Got lots of them. And, um, Beautiful day in Gettysburg. If anybody's ever in town, give me a holler. Stop by for a cup of joe. And uh, love y'all to death. Do me a favor. Be safe and achieve your goals this week. Don't disappoint me. Be well, my friends. And from the great Gettysburg blackout, over and out. <laughs>